Hi everyone, it's Penny from the Silver and Fifth program. Happy Friday, we made it to the end of the week. Now you're gonna notice my shirt says, forward is a pace, so remember that. Many times when we're pursuing our health and wellness goals, we take a couple steps back. And the trick is to take more steps forward than you take back. So it's okay to backtrack a little, just make sure that you are moving forward. And yes, my fun pants are bright. We are green this Friday. <laughs> With that, we are doing a mashup of exercises. So a little bit of everything. What you need is a nice clear space, steady support, chair, wall, countertop, and we will be utilizing bands today. If you don't have bands, you can simply move your body weight through the range of motion and really intentionally think about the muscles. Another option is you can grab dumbbells. If dumbbells would not work for the movement, I'll show you what to do with the dumbbells. No dumbbells? Grab some water bottles, some soup cans, anything that will add a little extra resistance. So with that, let's rock and roll. Grab water and remember you can take rest whenever you need to. We are gonna get our 30 minutes on the road. So we're gonna start nice and tall. We're just gonna start with a weight shift, side to side. Lifting that opposite heel up as you weight shift. You like to shake it a little bit. You can take those hips side to side. Oh, it feels like we're dancing, right? Let's add a little bigger arms. So the elbow's coming up. Four more. Getting that blood flowing, getting warm. Now hold it in, shake everything out. Take a big breath in, exhale down, shoulder rolls up and back. One more. Nice. Shaking. Let's weight shift one more time. Side. Maybe starting to think about those biceps here. Front of the upper arms as we shift it side to side. Mobility for your ankles and fall prevention as you shift confidently side to side. Bigger arms, activating those shoulders. We made it to the end of the week, yes. Starting with exercising and ending always is a good start and end to your week. Four more. Last two. Shake it out. Shake it out. Take that big breath in. Exhale. Shoulder roll. Up and back. Two more. And release. Now our feet are gonna ground. We're gonna simply do the cobra. Open our chest, back to the thighs. Open, and back to the thighs. Oh, that should feel so good. Helping with our posture, right? Avoiding that slumping. Keeping our bodies nice and upright. One more, and release. Make sure you've got a little room. Feet are gonna go a little wider. We are gonna rotate. Maybe tapping your opposite hip. Really light on those feet. So the hips and the knees are turning side to side. Waking that body up. All planes of motion. Two more. And then come back center. We've got our bottom kickers. We're just gonna lift those heels up. Any pace is okay. We're opening the front of the legs. 
As that body starts opening, you may want to increase that range of motion just a bit. Two more. And plant those feet. Come down into the strong leg, tall torso, reach those arms. Reach. Right now we're coming directly in front of the body, keeping those legs solid. Reach it corner to corner. Feeling those obliques that wrap around your midsection kick in. Two more. Hold it right here. Walk it in. If you want that support, it's there. Or freestanding. Lift your knees. Lift. So just some high knees. Four more. Shake everything out. Okay, we should be feeling warm. If you need some water, please grab it. One more big inhale in. Exhale. Okay, we're gonna be starting with our first set of exercises. Now this one, if you're using dumbbells, you're gonna be doing the cobra right here. So hands to thighs and opening. Or if you have a towel, you can use a hand towel. We can use either type of bands, the bands with the handle or without. We're gonna ground the feet, bend the elbows. We start with tension. Remember if I grip it in, so there's less band, it's gonna be a little harder. If I grip it out, it's gonna be a little easier. We're just trying to avoid the band becoming lax. So we're starting with thighs. Here is your example. We're just gonna take it up, pull, and down. Roll those shoulders. Here we go. Up, pull to the chest, and down. Belly is strong. We're working the upper back, and here's a side angle. You're gonna notice the only thing moving are my arms. And I'm pulling that band all the way apart, tapping the chest. Nice. Feeling the back of the shoulders and right in between the shoulder blades. Four more. Remember, everything is an abdominal exercise. Last one. And release. Place the down. Circle out your shoulders. Get a little range of motion. Open your chest. Reach forward. Open. And reach. One more. Open and reach. Shake it out. Make sure you have some room. We're gonna step it together. Step together. So we have our toes, knees, and hips. Everything straight ahead. We're just gonna do some natural arms. Pumping them out. Thinking about our leg strength here. Let's do a few more faster. And now we're gonna be doing the step and the slide. Right here, let's try it. Step, slide. Now it could be a squat slide or it could be a step. What feels good for your knees? So you could squat and come in. Knees are tracking with those toes. Chest is staying up. Two more. Step it together. Faster. Nice. We're just gonna do one more round of that. When you slide, depending upon your surface, if you have a smooth surface, you can pretend like you're wiping something off of your shoe. If you're not on a smooth surface, pick up those feet. <laughs> we wanna be able to easily slide. Let's do it again. Step and slide. Step, slide. So again, you can brush that foot to activate those legs a little more. 
You can also sit back a little further. Eight more. Belly is in at the bottom. So right here, everything controlled and strong. Two more. Easy march. Nice. We're going to go into our chest press next. So we're gonna grab our band, and I'm just gonna keep alternating, so to use an example of the different types of bands. So if you have a band with a handle or not, it goes underneath your arms. So underneath, I'm gonna make some loops. So I have two little loops, and I've got that tension. Feet a little wider than shoulder width. Bend down, get into your legs, and we're simply gonna push forward. Thumbs together. Back to the ribs. Thumbs together. Back to the ribs. Nice. Another option that feels good for your shoulders, you can leave those elbows up. If you feel any tension between your ears and your shoulders, come down. We want to keep that space. Squeezing, feeling the chest, the front of your shoulders and the back of your arms assisting. Four more like this. Squeeze, and in. Keeping that fluid breath, holding confidently, yet not too tight. One more. Come on up, shake it out for a second. Relax those fingers, now come back down. We're gonna alternate a punch, front. So like the warm-up, right now, we're punching to the front. Torso tall, legs solid, feet are planted. Forearms right to the front, alternating. Now if you need more or less resistance, you adjust that band. Now we can stay right here, or we can add that small rotation, getting our waist, and our arms, punch. Eight more singles. Nice deep breath, strong upper body. Four more. Nice, carefully take your band, place it down, shake out your arms. March on your right foot, march. We're going to go into that hustle. If you've got room, you're going to move. If not, you stay in place. Come towards me. One, two, three, tap and away. Nice. Now we're going to loosen this up a little bit. I'm going to add a change. Side. Side. Tap it out to the side. One, two, three, tap. Add some arms. Nice. Keep that going. You've got space, you're moving. If you're in a limited area and you need a little more, make it bigger. Right? Both work. Range of motion or covering more space. Four more. Two more. March it out. Beautiful. We're going to go through that whole set of exercises one more time. So we're starting. If you have dumbbells with the cobra, if you have a band, pull to chest. Find it. Let's find our steady stance, starting at the thighs, nice and tall. Here we go. Up. Pull and down. Nice, deep breath. Sometimes the tendency is to hold our breath as we're doing resistance training. Think about when you hold your breath, you create pressure. Thus, it can raise that blood pressure. <laughs> so smile as you work and breathe. 
We got four more. Four. Strong back. Two more. One more. And release. Place it down. Roll it out. Open. Close. Get a little motion in that upper back. One more. And shake it out. This time the left is going to lead. Side step. Step it together. Pump out those arms. So the nice thing about Fridays, right, is we've learned all of these movements. We mash them all up. We get a lot of different exercises in, right? Burning those calories. Getting a little bit of everything. So have fun with it once you've learned it. Step and slide. Step, slide. And again, you can stay tall if our knees like that better. Or we can dip the hips back. Like you have a chair right behind your bottom. Side. Four more. Last two. Step it together faster. You can dance right here. Nice and fluid. Your Friday groove, right? One more set, step and slide. Step, slide. Feel that foot ground and bring you in. Tall. Last four. Heating up those legs. March it out. Nice. Okay, we are going to come underneath the arm for our push, our chest press. So whatever band you have, it goes underneath the arm. That's going to help avoid it. You have it around your arms coming up and hitting your neck. Now we're going to come out to our wider stance, sink into our legs, tall, tight through the torso. Here we go, push forward, forward, back to the ribs. Forward. So again, it's good to get a push and a pull exercise when you're doing resistance training. Think of all the things we do all day where we're pushing or we're pulling. For example, the grocery cart, right? We're pushing. Pulling, think of picking things up, right? That's what we're developing. Pulls and pushes, getting the front and the back sides of our body. Four more like this. And we're feeling it the entire way. We've got lots of control. Now hold it in, alternate the punch, left, right. We're knocking them out today, right? <laughs> If you get tired, remember you can always do this with just your body weight. Four more to the front. Option, a little cross. Always an option. If it feels better to stay to the front, stay there. Eight. Strong arms. Let's do two more bonus. One and two. Nice. Place this down. Shake it out. Marching this time on our left. Left foot. Hustle. Come towards me. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three, ten. Getting that cardio on. Now if you want, tap side. 
Getting those legs first, and then adding those arms. I'm getting heated up. I'm feeling that sweat. I think we need a water break after this. <laughs> you can get water whenever you want, though, please. Nice. Four more. Easy march. Keep it moving. Let's go grab some water. Water is so important. We got a little bit more to do. Cheers. As you're drinking that water, I'm gonna demonstrate the next one. So remember, if you have a band without a handle, you're gonna wanna do one arm at a time. So when we do our bicep curls, you're gonna step completely on that band and you're gonna be coming up for the tricep. You're gonna hold that band and you're gonna kick back. Now, if you have a band with handles, you can do both arms at the same time. So just decide which one you wanna do, but remember one side and then the other. With the band with the handle, if we step on it with one foot, it's going to be a little bit easier because you're gonna have more band. Now, if you want it a little harder, step on it with both feet. Make sure that your feet are all the way on the band. We're gonna start with our bicep curls. We're gonna come up and down. Upper arms are locked into our side. So again, if you've got that long bear band without the handle, you're doing one arm right now. Curl and down. If you have dumbbells, this is the same movement. Up, down. Feeling the front of those arms. Nice. Squeeze. Again, confident grip, not over gripping. Fluid breath. Now hold it one at a time. One. Again, if you're on that single one, you can alternate One side won't have the band, one won't. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Nice. Step off of your band, place it down, shake it out. Right, left, mambo. Right, left. Right, left. Now this is gonna feel good. Open. Open. Nice. Opening the chest. So thinking about my shirt again. Forward is a pace. One minute, two minutes, five minutes. Taking rest. Coming back in. Doing a little bit more. It all counts. Small changes lead to big results. Four. March it out. Now we're gonna go back to that band again. You may be on one side. We're gonna take the band with the handle under one foot entirely. And we've got our tricep kick back. Squeeze from the elbow. And this is the same with the dumbbell. We've got our shoulder blades squeezing to the spine the entire time. And we're pushing back from our hips. Eight more. Breathing. Four more. Nice. Release it down. Shake it out. Now you can hold on. I'm gonna turn just a little bit to the side so you can see this. You may want your support right in front of you. We're gonna alternate our step back. 
we go toe down, push in. Toe, bend, push in. Don't worry about the music here. Think about your legs. You may want to go just a little slower. We really want to feel that front leg grounding and bring you in to be real small. Right, where we tap that toe. For some of you, it could be a little bigger. Front knee is hanging out with our toes like always. That's where it hangs out for help. Now, if you're balancing, you may even want to use whatever arms feel good. Right? Or hands on the hips. Let's all try just a couple more. Even yourself out. And shake it out. We've got one more round of all the exercises. Yes. Starting with our bicep curls. Again, it can be under one foot, under both. If you're using the long band without the handles, you're moving on to your other side. Let's curl up and down. Tight, tighter, and down. So two sets for all of these resistance exercises. Think about how smooth you can make your motion. So it's not jerky. It's smooth, subtle pause, smooth down. To the thighs, up to those armpits. One more double. Now we're gonna alternate. Lift, lift. Nice. Four more alternating. Now we are very carefully going to step off of that band. Place it back. Shake it out. Left, right, mambo. Left, right. Rock. Let's open up again. Open. You're at your party. You've arrived. <laughs> Get dramatic <laughs> if you want. <laughs> nice. Four more. Easy march. Okay, we've got our triceps. One more round. Take the time. Securely under your foot. One foot forward, one foot back. We row up, right chest up, back. Feeling the back, upper upper arm. Deep breath, confident hold. Squeeze. You've almost made it. Time flies when you're having fun, right? The fitness stuff, it really can be fun. Four more. It's all about our perspective, right? And release. Shake it out. We have one more set of our step back. These are gonna be at your perfect pace, no one else's. So remember, we come on the toe, bend down, and then we drive through that front leg. On the toe, bend, drive through. Keeping that belly nice and strong. And sometimes it's good to even slow this down even a little more. This is one of those exercises. And actually most of them, when you go slow, it doesn't make it easier at all. <laughs> 
It means it requires a little more stabilization, more balance, and more midsection control. So think of that deliberate front foot planting coming up and in. Nice. Let's do one more on each side. Evening it out. And then bring it in. Shake it out. Ah, take a big breath in. Exhale. Shoulder rolls up and back. So a few little bottom kickers. Just nice and gentle with that intention of bringing the body down, opening up a little space in the front of the thighs. Feeling that weight shift. And relax. Make sure you have room to pivot side to side. Light on the feet, hips and knees turn. Two more. And release it. Soften the knees. Arm can stay at the armpit or we can reach up. Fly over and hold. Just open up that side body. How good does that feel? More supports right there if you'd like it. And release. Other side, you can stay right here, come down, or we can reach up. Opening up that side body. Taking a few deep breaths. Release, shoulders roll, up and back. Open up your chest, hold right here. Feel that body starting to cool down a bit. Now either reach forward or take those palms forward, opening up the upper back. And then relax down, palms down, slow neck circles just to the front. So this range of motion exercise I highly recommend doing this daily. We hold so much in the shoulder and neck region, especially if you've been sitting for a long time or looking at a screen. And then look up. I'm going to finish this side to side, rotate out the wrist. Other direction, circling. Loosening up those hips. Open and close the fingers. And release. You can turn towards your support and hold on to it. You can take one leg back for the calf stretch. Heel is down, toe is forward. You can also stand and balance here. These static stretches are also balance poses. <laughs> we like that two for one benefit, right? So many benefits to movement. Now we're gonna come up on that back toe, drop down, drive that hip forward. Feel it right where you put your hand in your pocket. And relax, switch, take the other foot back, the heels down. We're just feeling a nice opening all through the calf. You wanna glance down at that toe, make sure it's straight forward. A lot of times it likes to go outward. We'll come up on that toe, drop down, hip forward. I don't think any of the kitty cats have made an appearance today. I think it's nap time. I'm not sure exactly where they are. <laughs> and then come in. And this, I have to admit, I have a lot of favorite things, but this is one of them. Toe up, 
take that bow. Oh, how good does that feel? Just to open up the whole back body. We have light support on those thighs. Let's take a few deep breaths. Maybe even thinking about your week, your accomplishments. Going back to my shirt, forward is a pace. Hinge up and let's switch sides. Toe up, sink it back. And it doesn't mean we always have to feel 100%, right? We come in, we take care of ourselves. Maybe some days we do a little, other days we do more. It's all about really taking care of yourself. What does your body need on any given day? And sometimes we do need that push, we need that challenge. Come on up, shake everything out. Let's take one more deep breath in. Exhale down, roll those shoulders. You want to write this down, forward as a pace, or two steps forward, one step back. Post it somewhere that you can seal it daily. It will be your reminder, your refrigerator, bathroom mirror, your reminder that a little bit makes a big difference. Everyone have an amazing weekend. I will see you again for class. It's Penny from the Silver and Fit Program.